Oh, welcome to the next episode of Vintage Tech. Now, I never made a Vintage Tech in a while. And as you can tell by that, and today we're going to talk about... The Video Home System, otherwise known as VHS. Now, I'm going to give a bit of an overview, a bit of brief history. I'll keep it to a minimum, because I don't want to waste too much on a second. But, the VHS system was introduced in 1977 by JVC, otherwise known as the Victor Company in Japan. Yes, that's the same JVC that made some really interesting tech. They helped with the Sega CD, otherwise known as the Mega CD outside of the US. They worked on the VHD. I recommend checking out Techmon's video. Click, that, click the card over right here. And they also released their own version of Sega CD called the Wonder Mega and the XI. Which is also used, which is a hybrid Sega Genesis and Sega CD. Now, for the VHS, was actually designed to compete with the Betamax or Betamax if you live outside the U.S. And yeah, it does start to form war. VHS versus Beta. However, if you're outside of America, you might have heard of the Video 2000. It was designed by Philips. Yes, the same Philips that designed the compact cassette and also the horrendous Philips CDI. They're they're known as the Video 2000. But surprisingly, Philips has been making cassettes, video cassettes. It's called Video Cassette Recording, which looks like cartridge vision. Hey, it's me from the future. But in case you don't know what cartridge vision looks like, here's what, here it is. Cartridge, this is a recordable tape, which is black. There's also pre-recorded black tapes, but there are also some red rental tapes, which can't be rewound. So that's a, that's cartridge vision in a nutshell, at least. But the video you fell, it's in uses double-sided tapes, much like a compact cassette or a vinyl record, or even a laser disc. Also, Phillips also worked on a laser disc as well. Anyway, I recommend you check out, I will talk about the, for TLDDR, there is VHS1 in the end. I recommend check out the videos by Technology Judge about the format wars. Anyway, the VHS lifespan in the U.S. was from at 2006, but outside America, they have different things, most especially South Korea. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, VHS, now we're talking about a brief overview of how the VHS works. We're going to talk about cassette tape, then the VCR, and then we're going to talk about how the quality is. Okay. Have here's the cassette tape itself. I mean, it's no surprise considering. Oh, it's no surprise considering how unique it looks. I'll let's check the dimensions of the V of the cassette. Oh, by the way, this is the VHS tape of Maline, which is I have first heard Maline for the cartoon by Deke. This cartoons are now by Wild Green. This one's about four inches in height. Uh, seven point three eighths in length, and around an inch in width. Now, I'll talk about the first. We have here is a little flap. This switch is pressed in order to open it. And here's what the tape looks like. You see a bit of a black tape. Then we have two spools. Then we have the label, which is Maline from Columbia TriStar Home Video. L. And when you hear the name Columbia TriStar Home Video, Columbia TriStar Entertainment, Swim Video Entertainment, you better turn away once the FBI warning shows up. Then we have, then it says, insert the side of your cord. Do not touch the tape inside. VHS. Then on the back, what we have here is some really interesting stopper things. And the stopper is also a beta blocker. Then we have these spools. Then what we have here is this little switch. A spike goes in there to make sure the tools can turn. Now, one advantage VHS has is that you can actually resume it at any time, which is similar to Baymax, what Baymax did. Or Beta, depending on where you live. And let's talk about the case, what the case it comes in. This is what it looks like for Madeline. Surprisingly, this was new old stock. 
unlike another one, the Stuart Little, which was well used. A bit of surprising here. This one's made out of plastic. Most VHSs you draw us. A little flimsy one, which is called the snap cake. Or the sleeve. Now, we should demonstrate how it works. Well, okay, here's the here's what the VHS system looks like. Also, a bit of a break here. This part is giving me trouble because I need to find the right cable. And so I'd use radio frequency, so this video will be using. So, yeah. Anyway, here's how the VHS works. Also, in order for, for the quality purposes only, picture to 4x3 or set by program. Yeah. Anyway, here's what the VHS of Malin looks like. Let me just open this up. Now I said use RF for this because, well, come on, it's useful. Okay, let's you pop this tape in. Ahem. Well, there are some other. This is from. And who we have here is the. Now, the quality is. Is from terrible tolerable. They left the house at half past nine. In two straight lines. Way of I said use RF for this because well this is because that's the only connect connector that supports it. When I use this video because well the cable uh free 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 I originally used S video but it only supports the DVD. I definitely went that the hard way. And VHS, it's analog for it, which means it's an the video is analog. You actually have to. Now, there's a. This is a rewind. Fast forward, play. Now, rewind, just rewinds the tape. And fast forward, just fast, fast it forwards. One thing I forgot to mention about the VHS is that this here is a write protect notch, so it means if that spot is closed, you can write to it. But if it's open, you cannot write to it. Pre record dates are write protected, so so you cannot write onto it. This is Stuart Little. Also, fun fact, the director of this also directed the original Lion King. I was also co-directed the original Bree! 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 Everything seems to be in order. Adoption. This is also directed the Lion King. Also co-directed the Lion King. Now, here's how we show how it actually works. What we have here is a drum. It rotates, it does a helical scan. Here we have our gears. This is the pinch roller thing, and that's capstan. And that's what's used to actually tapes around. Like, let's pop in Stuart Little again. I'm not facing a TV because, well, it's doors. Here's how it works. See, that drum rotates, and those and those spools rotate. Now I have put the TV on mute because not copyright. It's because of I don't want you don't want to hear the little buzz sound. E. You have these things pull the tape up in a W shape.
And then we... This right spool rotates faster than the other one because how many tapes is left. As for specifications, I'll look this up post-production. Oh, the post will be on screen right now. Oh, in case you're wondering. Yep. Now I guess I want to save that for last. Jesus, oh uh, brightness. Oh, not oh brightness. Oh, focus. So, about the VHS. Well, the VHS was an interesting way to view movies on, at home, and even TV shows as well. Even though VHS is long discontinued, the medium is still recognizable. In fact, there are dozens of VHS openings on YouTube, and I recommend taking a look at them. Also, openings and closings, too. But, VHS has more life, has different lifespans in the UK, and especially South Korea. For example, Star Wars Episode 3 was released on VHS in the UK, and Korea, the VHS release in Korea was so popular that they even released newer movies on the format. Shout out to Random Scare Home Media for the images. But anyway, what's the last VHS? Uh, most recent VHS was surprisingly a most recent movie. It was, it was Bumblebee. It was made for promotional reasons, and made people thought it was an April Fool's joke, which in reality it isn't. But it kind of makes sense as the film takes place in the 70s or 80s or what the hell. Now VHS was succeeded by DVDs, and we'll be talking about that late in this future episode. And there's also video CDs, which, for the record, we'll talk about later. But anyway, that's it. The next episode will be production later. Well, guess that's it.